As for estimating durations, um, we've got a bit of a problem because some people will see this glass as being half full and some people will see this glass as being half empty. Uh, my personal question is, where's the bottle, please? And really what we're saying is, uh, are, are people optimists or are people pessimists? And when you, pe when you ask somebody for a duration, the optimists will say, oh yeah, that's really easy, I'll finish that in five days. And the pessimist will go, oh, that could take eight, oh, that's really difficult, you know, it's going to take me three weeks, that is. You've got to understand whether your people are optimists or pessimists to try and get an accurate, a realistic duration. If we were to work our way through the project, calculating an estimation for the duration for every task, we'll be able to find out the total time of the project. That's, that's the purpose of network analysis. What I'm suggesting here is why only get one estimate of duration for the task? In our project, uh, which has got um, 10 or 12 tasks, maybe one or two of them we haven't done before. Maybe one or two are a little bit risky and we're really not confident in our estimates of duration. So get three estimates of duration. And this would be a PERT analysis. Program evaluation review technique is a technique for calculating the project duration, but based on three estimates of duration. And you actually ask people for their optimistic duration, their most likely duration, and their pessimistic duration. And it's a way of dealing with the uncertainty on those tasks we're not quite sure of. So for instance, in this example, the optimistic duration might be two days, the most likely duration, four days, and the pessimistic duration, 12 days. We put those figures into this equation where we take one of the optimistics, four of the most likelies, and one of the pessimistics. That's gonna give us six durations, so we divide our answer by six. So one of the optimistics is two days, four times four days, 16 days, plus 12 days, the pessimistic, divide it by six, and we'll say it's a five day estimate of duration for this task. Now, let's just think about that. Somebody has said it might take them four days. Optimistically, if everything worked, if everything went well, it could take two days, but if it goes wrong, it might take 12 days. Do you know, I don't think I'm really happy planning that as a five-day duration. I'd like to see maybe an eight-day duration for that task. And what I'm saying is that perhaps I personally am a little bit more pessimistic than this ideal situation which weights our answer around the most likely. So as an alternative, instead of taking one optimistic and four most likely and one pessimistic, we could actually take one optimistic, two of the most likely durations, and three of the pessimistic durations. And that would say we're weighting our decision more towards the pessimistic duration, and would come out with an answer of around eight days. Now, let's just think about this again. We're saying to people it's difficult to estimate an accurate duration. So what we're asking them to do now is estimate three accurate durations. If they can't get one right, you know, this doesn't magically give them a correct answer on three durations. They're still estimates.